Hello, are you looking to buy or invest in the Calgary market and want a summary of the market situations? Well, you're in the right place. Now, for me to get the most current statistics, I will use real info reports. From there, I will give you five tips for either a first time home buyer or first time investor. Tips four and five, I have not seen anywhere else. Now, comment below if you want me to send you any information that I'm showing you. Also, if you have any questions that you want answered um, immediately or you want more information, you can just comment below. Thank you. Now, the first tip I'm going to tell you if you're looking to invest in Calgary Market is your tenant profile. You have to determine what kind of tenant do you want. Do you want a tenant that's handy, can fix everything, doesn't really bother you, and is able to basically take care of the property or do you think you can handle a tenant that will pay more but it's more demanding it's more of a professional but even if even if they got to change a light bulb they will call you you have to decide what kind of tenant profile you want and accordingly then you can go to different neighborhoods now regardless of price there's different types of properties you can invest into a condo a semi-detached a row house or a detached property or even a fourplex, a fiveplex, sixplex. <laughs> Regardless where you're going to purchase, take a look at all the properties and you can determine this is where you are now. You can afford to buy this property and a few years later you can afford to buy this property. But just take an overall look at the properties that are available and what suits what suits you to purchase. Calgary okay, has approximately 260 communities. For rental, you can decide which, which area that you want to buy in. This is going to be probably your most important decision. The reason being is that some areas tend up tend to appreciate faster than others. And there's also specific criteria you want before you look at any property, any neighborhood. Comment below if you want me to send you the, the criteria. Now, the financial side, any property you buy has to cash flow. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit or a lot, it definitely has to cash flow. Your appreciation is a bonus. You're buying a property not so much for appreciation, but more for, for cash return. Cash on cash return. Comment below if you want me to send you the websites I use to determine if the property can cash flow. Tip number five, market trends. I'm going to be using Calgary Real Info Report to show you what the trends are in Calgary right now as of October. It's important to know how, what kind of market you're in. Are you in a buyer's market, seller's market, balanced market? This will help you for negotiations. Also look at market 10 for rentals. Are you in a market where the rents are going up, therefore you can afford to pay a little bit more on your purchase price? Or do you see the rents going down and then you, you need a buffer for that? All right, now let's take a look at what's going on in Calgary using real info reports. As you can see, we're still in the seller's market right here, okay? All this means, whoops. All this means is that negotiating, if you're per looking to purchase, you will not have as good as negotiation as a seller will. Any lowball offers can easily reject it. Now the price is just a little bit over, a uh, little under $700,000. The key is, is it going up or down? It's going up. It'll be going up all the way to $800,000 in about a year and a half or so. Okay, easily you can look at the trend here. As of September, a year ago, that same house, 626, now it's 696, $70,000 more in one year. That's massive. Now, where's the trend going here? Let's take a quick look here. Last 10 years, you've had a 30% increase, but it's not linear. Okay, we've even got some negatives here. You see the negative here? Prices actually went down. And that's not to say they won't go down again. However, with the current immigration coming into Calgary and the excellent economy we have right now, you will see a, tent, a trend. And like I said before, I see a trend going up all the way up to $800,000, okay? Now, just quickly looking at the listings and number of souls, or this number's right here. Really, all this is telling you is that this is a low inventory. We should have much higher inventory here. Why is that? Because 
interest rates. Nobody wants to sell a house where their interest rate is currently at 1%. And now if they buy a new house, it's at 6%. Now, another important trend to look at when you're looking at stats is average days on market to actually sell a property. We are in September here and the average days on market that property is, is in 25 days. That, that is telling you it's basically selling right away. Now, if you're looking to buy an investment property, it's meaning to say you, you need to really keep current on, on the properties that are available. And when you see something that you like, you act on it quickly. Now, to overall, take a look at the market distribution. Where, what prices are the houses selling at? A beautiful part of Calgary is it's still low. Take a look at this here. It is still, majority of properties are still below uh, $600,000. And majority of properties are between four to 